Hi everyone. I want to go over some G questions with you. Uh, so this is the test on August 26, 2021. It was the 9 a.m. to 12 o'clock and we're going to go over question number two. Let me read it to you. It says interhalogen and that's a key word. Interhalogen compound A, B, 3 has T-shaped structure. How many lone pairs are present? Okay, the first thing that grabbed me was that word halogen. The second thing that grabbed me was T-shaped. So you've probably memorized your VSEPR table. I'm going to include a link uh, for you down below. You also see it up top on VSEPR if you need a little more instruction on VSEPR. Um, so you already have that memorized, but let me help you muscle through it and figure this out, okay? Um, remember, halogens have seven valence electrons. And so I did the electron dot right here for a halogen. Now, when you approach Lewis dot structures, I will also include this link if you want to review Lewis dot structures. You always go through three steps. Number one, you look to see if you can share electrons to get a full octet. Well, if I have three atoms bonded to this halogen, there's no way that we can do a, a full octet because it can only accept one electron to get the full octet, not three. So number one, that's not going to work. The second thing that we look for is a coordinate covalent bond. Halogens can never do coordinate covalent bonds uh, because you're going to have one of these um, atoms is going to share two electrons or uh, the central atom at times that can also share two electrons. Uh, we can do a coordinate covalent bond because if I share two electrons with this, it puts us at nine. It won't have eight valence electrons. So that then puts us at our third option, and that is an expanded octet. So the thing to remember on an expanded octet, the central atom expands. The attached atoms will never expand. Uh, the attached atoms will always have va eight valence electrons. So you give them whatever they need to have eight valence electrons, and it's the central atom that's going to take the hit. Um, and remember, expansion, we can only expand that central atom to either 10 valence electrons or 12 valence electrons. Little side note, the only atoms that will do expansion are in period three or larger. So period three, four, five, etc. cetera. Um, so let's go ahead and do our expanded octet for this halogen. I'm going to give my three B atoms what they need. They're going to need one electron. Um, so let's give one electron to B, let's give another electron to a B, and then I'm going to give um, an electron to B. So we just took care of our one, two, three. There are three B atoms. Um, now remember, A, the halogen, has seven valence electrons. So we used one, two, three. How many electrons are left? One, two, three, four. So we have four electrons left, which means there are two lone pairs. Let's circle those. We've got right here, two lone pairs. So the answer on this, two lone pairs. Hopefully that is review for you. If there's anything that I talked about re, um, in reference to Vesper or Lewis dot structures, check out those videos and it will make everything clear for you. Hey, good work and good luck on your future test. Thanks so much. Bye.